Hi everyone, I wanted to give you guys a market update specifically for Miami and the South Florida market coming from a realtor and investor. This is probably going to be based on facts and stats a little bit, but really based on my personal experience and my personal opinion. Coming from somebody who is not just a realtor, deals with clients all day, want to buy and sell in the South Florida market, but also who is still actively buys herself in the South Florida and also in other markets in the country. Now, do you see that everybody in the media is talking about how there's a housing crash coming, there's a recession and prices are going down. The recession part, I have to agree with, I'm pretty sure we're headed into a recession. However, what I cannot agree with is that prices in Miami or surrounding areas are going down or that the real estate market is taking a hit in Miami or South Florida. I have seen definitely that it has slightly softened as in that we're not seeing these extreme bidding wars anymore with 35 offers on a property way overpriced. However, I've seen that it has really stabilized and it has it's really strong and really solid as far as what sellers want for their properties. And yes, the buyer dictates what the market can get as in like what a buyer will pay. That's what the market really is. That's what they say. However, if sellers are not letting go of their property and thus have um, thus buyers are having to buy at that price or have the other choice of not buying at all, then the sellers in Miami dictate the market. I buy specifically in North Miami, but I will look anywhere really, but that's just the market that I like. It's close to home. And what I see here is a little bit unique maybe. So people in South Florida or in that particular market, North Miami Beach and surrounding areas, just let's say Miami-Dade County, South Broward, anywhere in, in that area, people usually have a lot of money. So it's either sellers that have bought those properties maybe 10 years ago or even longer ago for really, really cheap. So if they bought 10 years ago, they bought a property that was worth 150 then and it's probably worth 700 now. That's the situation that I'm seeing a lot. So those are people that have multiple properties that are maybe even vacant or they're rented out, but they don't even care if they get rid of them because they will just rent it for a great price because rents are really high or they'll just keep it because there's really no need to sell. They don't have any financial distress and they don't have any need to sell, which is why they can stay with those high prices that they're asking. We're seeing that a lot. In Miami, there's definitely no deals to be had. There's no um, market crash to be felt. And that is coming from my personal experience for somebody that's on the daily looking for properties to buy. Also, of course, looking for properties for my buyers or looking for, for people who want to sell their properties. So I am not just the realtor, I'm also the investor. So I'm really deep in the real estate market here and I look at properties here all day long. And I do not see anybody really giving their house away for less than it's worth. They're actually all pretty high and they're all standing their ground. Another reason why a lot of people don't want to sell their house for cheap or maybe don't even want to sell at all. In the whole country, I have heard or I'm seeing that people are becoming a little bit more realistic. People who are in the need, in need to sell are getting more um, open to um, lower offers. But in the South Florida market, I personally do not see it at all. And it's not a market where you're getting very good deals. It's not impossible to get a good deal. However, it's not the easiest market. There's people here have money. The buyers have money. Even when I am going to, to a seller that is maybe in distress or like maybe is more open to lower offers, I'm getting out bit because somebody will always come that has more money, that has cash, and they will pay the price that these people are asking for. So that's the situation in Miami. Does that mean Miami is terrible? No, actually the opposite. It means Miami is great. Miami is solid. Miami is a good investment and Miami is a great place to buy, definitely. So that's my personal opinion, being active as a buyer and an investor and a real estate agent in the current market.